Hello, Phil the Meerkat here. Welcome to another episode of That Spray Lorelei. I'm guessing it's not a good idea to be, um, uh, eating while you're playing this, while you're watching this. I don't actually want to use this, it just seems like this is the sort of game where you uh, collect a seemingly random collection of objects and they turn out to be exactly what you need to get past this next bit, which means that, um, okay I guess we can't go in here. Which means that uh, it might take me a while to uh, find what I'm looking for. Oh, I, I guess this corridor just leads me back to there. Fair enough. I think I could take the bench with me, but there's a spray can. Oh, this this is a different okay. I need to get through here. Oh, the laundry room might have something. At least I know I can do that. It's empty. That was the only roll of paper in there. Whoever goes to that toilet next will be in trouble. Soluble cleaning tablets. Powerful stuff. I need to get rid of these maggots. I have an idea. Spraying these maggots with water alone won't do the trick. Uh, I need something that will actually. I need to get rid of these maggots. With the tablets. The smell alone mm. makes my eyes sting. They didn't like that, did they? Horrible little buggers. Yeah. So, we're going in? No, no, no. You know me, I get scared of my own shadow. Maria, I don't want to do this on my own. There's no way I'm going in there. I'm not a Sorry, big Lara fan Lara. of going in there either. It's fine. I'll go and turn off the bell, but you owe me. I mean, the first is what it's like outside. Okay, it's just a body. No need to be scared. Hey! Turn that buzzer off and we'll let you out! Gee, thanks. I don't see why I have to do anything to the... to the corpse. That's just the light. But where's the bloody button that turns it off? What a storm. After such a beautiful sunny day, it's proper raining now. <gasps> Where 
Where's that bloody... Shit. If she's dead, I really do have to query how she's managing to hold the bun. Rigor mortis is a thing, but she would have to be. Ah, well, that would just explain it a bit. Well, she did tell her mum that she'd had a bad day at work. Um, as is off. <laughs> <laughs> got you! <laughs> I got it all on my phone! Oh, mate, you should have seen your face! What? <laughs> you nearly shat yourself. <laughs> Didn't she, Nisha? Oh my god. <laughs> this is so going on YouTube. It is going on YouTube. It's the last play. This was a prank. <laughs> well, what do you think it was? Dead people don't ring their bells, do they? But we rang the bells, silly. Not Greta. <laughs> you really believed it was her, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate. That was precious. To be fair, if it wasn't this computer game, I wouldn't have believed it was her. You filmed me? <laughs> yeah, so? You can't do that. <laughs> Look, we always do that to new staff. <laughs> it's funny. Get over it. You knew about this too, Nisha? Yes, of course. I ring the bell. Laura, very scared. <laughs> It really wasn't funny, honestly, but... Okay, you got me. Well Might done. Might as well be a good sport. <laughs> You're one of us now. Welcome to Pinecroft, Lorelei. I'm not sure how she could have done the corpse talking to me, though. I don't know. I think that bit may have been real. Well, I'm glad you're all right, Mr. B. But you shouldn't have worried. Except for Greta, sadly, passing away. Well, everything's been hunky-dory. 
Oh, and that new girl, Laura. Or is it Lorelei? Yeah. She's done all right. Still a little rough around the edges. But I think we could make a good carer out of her. Cheers for the umbrella, Zack. Now I have the joy of waking up to these things. And here I am now. These paintings are by Alma. You appear to be her style. Don't be shy. Come in, Lorelei. I'm cooking you a stew. What? It's about time you had a nutritious home-cooked meal, don't you think? But... what is this place? And who are you? This house is my humble kingdom. And I'm your new best friend. I knew your mother, and your father, and now I'm getting to know you, Lorelei. So I'm guessing she's basically happens when people die. That's her mother's dead. Father's dead. And now I guess Lorelai is dead. I'm not sure why we've transitioned to these rocks. Okay. Can't pick up that item. Be nice if this was more in a more linear order. I want to know what happens next. Oh, good. They call me the Queen of Maggots. I rarely let people in. They have no business here in my place of rest. But I thought that for you, I'll bend the rules and give you some of that motherly love poor Miranda failed to deliver. For me? Why? See, I've been around a long time. Born out of darkness to borrow my tunnels deep wicked human hearts. But your heart is different, Lorelei, because you're a survivor. A survivor? Me? 
I certainly did not survive my throat slashed open with a sharp piece of glass. Sometimes dying is not the end. Don't you know that, Lorelai? Bullshit! Where's my dad then? Where's mom? Gone. Now I'm gone too. Perhaps you are stronger than me. After all, when someone's will is strong enough, even the death cannot stop them. I think you are really overestimating who I am, strange lady. And who are you, really? Who do you see when you look in the mirror, your ally? Someone had almost got away, but they were fooling themselves that this could ever work. I see a girl that gave it all a good shot. She really tried. She had ambitions and dreams. She was not scared of working hard to get somewhere in life. But life had other plans. But what does it matter now? I can't turn back the time. With my help, there is still something you can do. Let's take a little walk, shall we? Trust you. This last memory of your life. Pretty dreadful, even for my standards. What's he doing to Beth? I believe he will drown her, Lorelei. You'd like to stop that man, wouldn't you? Yeah. But how? It's too late! And what if I told you that it was not? What? I'll bring you back to life. You'll carry on right from where you died. Then... You can pull Bethany out of that evil man's fingers. Sounds good, doesn't it? What's the downside? I'm not sure if I can trust you. You have got nothing to lose, Lorelei. At least the first time you do this. Well, maybe. How would I...? Oh, it's easy. Anyone can do this. But first... I want you to fetch something for me. It's not ten wolf pelts, is it? Nothing as tedious as that, I assure you. I just need one... Final ingredient for my stew. 
a fin of shark. Just a slice. Really? You want me to kill a shark? Oh, there's one already dead not far from here. Where? Look for the lonely seashore. Okay, this seems like a good time to end the episode. I will see you next time.